Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, I thought it would be a good idea to get into the question of the teachings of Catholicism specifically. This time, what do Catholics need to believe? What are doctrines? The way the term is used today, the word doctrine means an unchangeable truth of the Catholic faith, which all Catholics should believe. Traditionally, this is divided into a couple of categories. The deposit of faith, which basically means the teachings of Jesus and the scriptures, and other doctrines, which developed from the church and the pope making official pronouncements on matters of faith and morals. One interesting thing to keep in mind about church doctrine is that it basically operates in the opposite way that something like British Parliament does. In Parliament, the leaders can establish any kind of law, but in turn, any law they establish can also be abolished later. By contrast, a doctrine of the church is held to be true with a capital T, always and forever true, and it can never be otherwise. Doctrines of the Church are things like the divinity of Jesus, or the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, and over the course of this series of videos, we've covered a lot of them. The statements made by various councils of the Church against the heresies that have popped up in the past would also be doctrinal. For example, that people require the grace of God in order to be saved. That's a doctrine. We've touched on this before, but in Catholicism, these kinds of truths are based on the nature of the Holy Spirit, and therefore they can't change. However, we can learn new things about them, and that's where the discovery is. A lot of the things that we currently think of as doctrines, such as the Immaculate Conception, had to be ironed out and debated in precisely this way before they were officially declared as doctrines. There are also a number of truths that are considered certain, but which aren't officially declared doctrines yet, so just because something isn't a doctrine doesn't mean you shouldn't believe it. Next time, is there anything else that Catholics should believe? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.